So what do we have in the box today? Let's find out. Retron 77. Let's open up this puppy and see what's inside. Well, here it is, the Retron 77 Premium Retro Gaming Console for 2600 HD. That is the front of it. Inside. Same thing on that side. On this side. And there's the back. That nice little dent there. Let's see what it says on the back here. Leave your platform shoes at the door and spend the night with the Retron 77, the grooviest retro console from Hyperkin. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside here. We got the console. Manual. One joystick. And accessories. Let's take a look at the console here first, if I can get it out of this. Ooh, that's nice. It's, 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 it's indescribably beautiful. It reminds me of the 4th of July. Front panel. Oh. It's back where you put the HDMI and looks like the card's already loaded in there, so let's see what we get in the accessories. Guessing just cables. We got our HDMI cable, kind of, kind of light, and USB cable, and power outlet. There's the uh, joystick with a rather long cable. Apparently, these are. Pretty stiff. I've heard uh, they break easily, but apparently Hyperkin will repair them, or replace them if they break. So why don't we go ahead and hook it up and see what it looks like? For Harrison's sake, uh, that's a Atari Flashback 2 right there, size-wise, and that's the Retron 77. Um, I'm sure other people will do the comparison between the full size 2600 and this, but it's uh, really it's about the same depth. It's about half half the width. So one other interesting thing here, um, I've got a, a flashback joystick here, which isn't the best. It's not the best representation of an original Atari, but it's pretty close, I guess. It's It just feels looser. This one, the new one, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's clicky. Now, 
whereas the this one here, it's smooth. There's no like it's it's strange. It's almost like this one is almost like a uh, on the Neo Geo Pocket, the way it's you know like clicky in that. sure and this one ha has a much shorter throw this one I mean you can you can see I'm, I'm moving it around much further this one is just it's a really short distance to go in the different directions hmm. well let's try some games okay so we're gonna Turn it on without a cart first, and then I got a bunch of different cartridges we're going to try here from different companies to see, make sure, you know, all the different ones work. So, turning it on without any cartridge in it. That's kind of neat. The little H lights up on that. That's how you know it's on. And it just takes you to the, there's a few homebrews that they put on there. Um that you can play if you want to. So. If you want to select one, I guess you just push the button. Okay. Well, that's a license. Game called Baby, game called Muncher 77, Astron. I don't know if that's like Pac-Man. Once you're 77. Oh, this is, I remember this. You can't get hit by that guy. You have to clear all the blocks out. Oh, they got me. Got me again. hard. Okay, game over. All right, well, let's try something else here. We'll start with the regular old. We'll start with the classic 2600 game. How about Space War? That's right. No? Okay, I forget. There we go. The label does face towards you. It's like a USB cord. You gotta turn it three different ways to get it to fit in. About a newer 2600 game, Gremlins. Okay, well, clearly it works, so we'll go on to the next thing. 
How about Solaris? Sadly, I don't have any homebrew games, so I'm not going to be able to tell what homebrews work and what don't. Okay, well, it works. <laughs> How about... We got some third-party games here. How about Activision? We'll try Keystone Capers. Hmm. Well, that may be the card, but I don't know. That's not a good sign. I'll try a different one later. How about M Network? I've got a uh, Super Challenge Football there. Let's see if that one works. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. luck with these third party games. I have more. Maybe it might just be the cards. I haven't tested these on the regular system. Well that one's no. How about iMagic? Try Star Voyager. It doesn't sound that good going in. Well, that works. Okay. Well, that works. Empire Strikes Back. Yay. I love this game. I have not played this in a long time. Yay. Okay, well it works. And let's try 20th Century Fox game, Turmoil.
Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, I'm going to go get some other games and we'll try those. Alright, we're going to try another M Network game, Astro Blast. Okay. One thing I will say, the controller is really responsive. I've been hearing a lot of bad things about it being fragile in that, and I can see that. It definitely feels like if you pushed it too hard, it would easily break. But really, it's it doesn't take much to get it to move. It's I think with people who are used to the regular Atari controllers, they're going to probably force it too much and boy, I'm terrible at this. And it may if they hit it too hard it'll probably end up breaking. You really don't need to put a whole lot of pressure on it. So anyway, let's try a different one. Let me try Hero. Another Activision. I don't know if this one works or not, though, so try it. No. Nope. I think that may be the cart. Try it. Insert. Nope. So another Activision. Ice hockey. All right, that works. Okay, well that works. And how about a little Star Fox? Who made this one? Mythicon. I'd start it. Okay, well, Star Fox worked. Interesting. As much as that game can work. Uh, last one I'm going to try is Dr. Kong Jr. We'll see if the uh, Coleco games work. I don't know if this game even works, so some of my games don't work. Yep. All right. <laughs> ah. Zero points. All right. Uh, one other thing I'm going to show. There's a button on the back. Somewhere. That changes the aspect ratio from full screen to 4.3. So. If you want to play it in the original rather than stretched.
right. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions or that, feel free to post them below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.